Halo by Beyonce Knowles. Beyonce's Halo manages to, manages to be both simple and complex at the same time. It's simple in that there are only four chords that we need to know, but it's uh, complex because the sort of uh, part that I know many of you are going to want to try and learn, that intro part, is uh, very technical. So I'm going to first show you the easy part, and the majority of the song is just the four chords. So the four chords you need to know are an A major. So in your left hand, you're going to play A's. I like to play them in octaves, if you can. A's. In your right hand, you've got an E, an A, a C sharp, and an E. So I play double octaves, as usual. You can... Uh, Take out extra notes if your hands aren't big enough to play all that, okay? So take out that top note or that bottom note in your right hand. Anyway, A's. So you start with A, and then you move to a, a, a B. So in your left hand, you play B's. In your right hand, you've got um, an F sharp, a B, and a D. Actually, this is a B minor. So you go A major, B minor. Sorry about that. And then you're going to move to an F sharp minor. So F sharps in your left hand, and in your right hand you can play either in its root inversion or you can play it like this. C sharp, F sharp, A, and C sharp. If you want, you don't have to have that bottom C in there. And then you've got a D major to sort of finish things off. I like to play my D majors like this. You've got D's in your left hand, and I throw in an extra A just to add some fullness. You don't need to put that A in there, but D's you can play them low if you want as well. In your right hand you've got D, F sharp, A, and D. Or just those. Okay? So the four chords, A, B minor, F minor, D. So that's pretty much the whole song. It loops like that. Uh, you got to use your ears to know when it comes in and the I exact sort of um, rhythmic pattern that is played to during those parts. Now the intro is the sort of the harder part. It's still on those four chords. And if you think about playing an A major scale, so that's A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. If you think about playing that scale, it'll sort of help you. I, I feel like it'll help you. If you play through it a couple of times, it'll help you on this part. So it sounds, the part that I'm gonna show you now is that intro, which is a little bit confusing, a little bit uh, technical, sounds like this. back in there. So it's hard It's hard for a number of reasons. Uh, the f first of all, you have to get the fingering kind of just right in order to make it uh, error free and e easy on your hands. So you're still playing that A to begin with. Now in your right hand you're going to play an E, an A, and a C sharp, and you're going to play that C sharp with your forefinger. So bum 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 bum. So top, bottom, middle, bottom, top, bottom, middle, bottom, top, bottom, middle, bottom. That's sort of the pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's this little, you go to a B, like a little pickup, B, C sharp, and then into your B minor. So you're gonna move, at that point, you're gonna move your left hand to Bs, and your right hand is playing F sharp, B, and D in the same pattern. Top, bottom, middle, bottom, top, bottom, middle, bottom. And you do that twice, two, and then you drop to a uh, D, D flat here. It's a sort of a transition. And you do one little bo top, bottom, middle, bottom. Now here's the hard part. So nice and slow. B, C sharp, B, A, A, G sharp, F. Now when I play it, I switch fingers on that A. So you play that A twice in a row, and I switch from a thumb to, a, to my middle finger. So if you play it fast, you can see it's very hard. So just practice that little part as fast as you can. Do, 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 do. Start slow and slowly bring up the speed. Right? So nice and fast. Uh, that's the trick. And if you can get that, then you're pretty darn good. So uh, And you can get it. It just takes practice. But know that it's hard and have some patience with it. It's okay if you don't get it right away. Okay? When you get to that part, finally get your thumb on that F sharp. You're going to switch your left hand over to F sharps. And you're going to kind of reposition your hand and 
do something sort of like this. So C sharp, F sharp, and A is involved there. And then the lick to, the, to move to the next chord, or that, that precedes moving to that D major, is like this. So that's just A, B, A, G sharp, F. And when you hit F, then you're gonna, you're gonna sort of do some of this bouncy stuff with this D, F sharp, and A. And then there's a little pickup before you go back in, they're just like this. Bum, bum, bum. It's just A, G sharp, F sharp, E, and then back in. So it's not exact, but it doesn't have to be. Like, get it as close as you can. If you really want it to be perfect, listen to the song a bunch. It, that's actually pretty close, but listen to the song a bunch, and you know you can you can figure it out slowly. Other than that, this is the type of song that, you know, it's going to sound good. You just got to get, get close and people will know and they'll feel it, you know, and it'll be fine. Anyway, I hope that helps you. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.